Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do another test today on my modified chafing fuel can where I've modified it with carbon felt on the inside to be able to refill this with uh, alcohol or methanol. Instead of using the all-in-one stove from Intense Outdoor Gear, I'm going to try a hardware cloth pot stand. This is one of those that I like making and using with a lot of my stuff. I'm Again, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I am not knocking this stove at all. All I'm saying is I'm trying to use it for something it wasn't intended for. This was intended for a wick uh, burner. You know, we just had one wick coming up through. Works all right for that. But for something with a larger flame, needs more air, the holes just aren't enough. So I like using my hardware cloth that you can just make these. This is six squares high, quarter inch squares high, and it's a rather large one because I use it for a number of things. But it, it fits on the outside of the can just like the all-in-one stove. Hold it on with a rubber band or a silicon band. And then this just comes up, and because this one's kind of long, it's awkward, but it fits right on the top just like it should. So I've got methanol in here. Boy, I can't talk today. Again, don't fill these up real high. I probably only got this about a third full. Let's light this. <clears throat> nice thing with this is it just instantly lights. Put on the pot stand. Should probably make one that's more the size for this can. Just like that. I have two cups of water setting at 61 degrees and let's see where this goes. We're now three minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 116 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see the, the uh, flames are spreading out more coming through the carbon felt or car coming through the hardware cloth hitting more of the pot. The uh, all-in-one stove didn't have the holes up at the top so it just kind of contained the flame and didn't hit more of the pot. You can see that the wires are starting to get red hot at the top. So, pretty nice going so far. We're now seven minutes into the test and the temperature is up to 175. This uh, pot stand with the hardware cloth is as tall as the all-in-one. And I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but the first two, the first two layers up makes it even with the burner and then that makes the burner about an inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot. But uh, I just, the way the flames are spreading out, I just wonder if maybe I could go with one square shorter of a pot stand. Just thinking out loud. There we have 210. 211. 212 and 933. Okay, let me get this off here so I can put it out. <clears throat> okay, what I want to do is get a weight, see how much alcohol was used in that time. This time, <clears throat> excuse me, that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees came to a boil in 9 minutes and 33 seconds. On a previous test, using the all-in-one pot stand, uh, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 13 minutes, 5 seconds. So, saved quite a bit of time there, over, over 3 minutes. So, not bad. <clears throat> nope, don't want to do that. Uh, I like the hardware cloth pot stands because you can make them real easy and it gives you lots of air no protection from the wind like this would the all-in-one sort of protects you a little bit from the wind but this gives your your flame lots and lots of air <clears throat> and it gives it place space for the flames to come out and up the pot huh I had, was thinking in my uh, camera two shot that I don't know, this is the same height as the all-in-one. 
but I wonder if it could be brought down a square so that makes it one inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot the way it is now but it kind of looked like the flames wanted to get up a little bit higher just thinking but these things are easy to make <clears throat> so I don't know it's up to whatever you want to use yeah and I'm not <clears throat> excuse me I'm not knocking the all-in-one stove it's a really handy burner that just fits on the outside of the canisters I in, yesterday I uploaded a bunch of uh, old videos that I did on my other site with the sterno gel fuels using hardware cloths this stuff isn't very hot either because it's it's really not made to make water boil it's just made to get water up to what like 150 degrees and keep the water warm on a buffet line so that stuff is slow <clears throat> alcohol I don't know it just seems to be the way to go so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now